All right, so this is a quick troubleshooting uh, video um, on as far as making right and left uh, click so and saving. So um, real quick, um, <clears throat> I have a, a client that's having problems saving. Um, one thing you want to make sure is when you go save, you're, you're not going to file up here and save as or save copy or collect all and save. All you want to do is if you're going to try to save a set after you made a change, you just go to file and save. Uh, or if you're on a Mac, you just hit command S, but that's all you need to do to save. And um, and then and, and it'll save it. If you save as, you're saving it as a duplicate of the set. So if you go back and reopen up the old set, it's not going to be the same. It's going to it won't save your changes because you're saving a copy of it. So you just want to go save live set or command S and that'll save it. <clears throat> and then as far as doing uh, right and left with your click on your right side and your and your um, other tracks on the left side or whichever you choose, uh, first thing you want to do is go over here to click in your queue and you want to change these from send only to master. And because uh, right now they're going over here to this track, so just go over here to master. And then if you got these sets from us, another thing you want to do is mute this track because that is a send track that's going to your right and left. So all your audio is going to come out both sides, anyhow, because you have a mix going right here and it's going out your right and left, uh, one and two. So just mute that. You don't need that. And um, make sure these are going out master. And then if you go over to the other screen. Then you're going to take your <clears throat> um, your click and say you want that on the left, move that all the way over to the left, move that all the way over to the left, that's your click, and then take your other ones and move them all the way over to the right. So that way they're panned right and left. And um, move it all the way down here. Now all of the music is actually coming out of the right, and that's how I have it set up. You can have it set up however you want. And all of the, oops, as you can see, see right, and the click and the cue I have coming out of the left, L, L. And, and I had a client who got confused and um, was doing them here. That's not, uh, you can also do it here too. You can also do it right here. Or we can go, you know, uh, move these back and forth. Sometimes you won't see those until you actually move the other side, and then they'll come up. But as you can see right now, all the the click and the cue is coming out on uh, the left side. The rest of them is coming out the audio. And then we go to export. So if we click and play that song. Intro two, three, four. Sorry. And if I go up here to. Um, File and export. I just clicked on the song I wanted to export, and then I just go here to File and Export, and then I click on that's going to be Master. It shows me the length right there, and um, normalize if you want it, and then uh, Wave. And now if I click Export, I'm just going to export that to my desktop real quick, and. Um, Yeah, that went to our desktop. <laughs> yeah, let me try it again. Export. Oh, I exported Dropbox. All right, so that explains it. All right, so we go to Dropbox. There we go. And let's see how it worked out. Like Intro, two, three, four. Like I said, the headphones in so you won't hear this, but I will. Yep. Okay, click is on the.
but I uh, hope that explained it. So yeah, these have got to be a master. And um, if they're on sends, it won't work. you got to go master, master, all master all the way down. Mute this track right there. And then file, export. And if you just click on the song, you're, you just click on the song you want to export. Intra that way Ableton knows I'm exporting that song. And then file, export. And name the song accordingly and where you want it to go to. So whatever song that was, that was uh, Like a Virgin. So of course I'd make, you know, like a V, you know, you know whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then click Save, Export it. And there you go. And then what I would do is I would save a template like this with your masters all set. And that's your backing track, uh, right and left um, video. I mean, I, I mean uh, set. All right? Hope that helps. But also, uh, yeah, and as far as saving, yeah, go to file and <clears throat> save live set. Don't do save live set as. Don't do save a copy. Just go save live set, and that'll save all your changes, or hit command S. If it's not saving, then you're probably don't, you're probably, uh, if you go to, to Ableton and Preferences and go to um, License, you're probably not. Uh, uh, authorized. Uh, you probably have a uh, maybe a copy of Ableton that's ran out of a 30-day trial and it's not letting you save anymore because Ableton won't let you save if you had a trial version and you're done with your trial version then it will not let you save anymore. Hope that helps.